Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2. This is Evia Turquesetal and we are going to be working on part 2 of the Lucky Elephant. Today I'm going to be adding doodling using some metallic jelly roll pens by Sakura. And this is how my elephant is looking so far. I will begin by adding some gold. And this is the color that I'm using. I'm using the darker one in the pack and I'm gonna be going over my wavy line that I had created in pencil on that blue edge of my tapestry so I'm gonna be going over my pencil line and you'll see me going back and forth until I get the thickness that I want to see there And I'll start slowly showing you real time, but then I will speed up to go through the whole borderline. And then I'll start adding that gold to different areas in my design. So most of this video is going to be a sped up process video of how I added all my doodling to my elephant adding details to the edge of that border now and then I'm gonna go back in with a green to define the border of the green abstract leaves that I had created on my design next to the flowers and that way they will pop out from that background more and not blend in as much and once I'm done with that then I'm gonna use a black from this jelly roll classic pack because the metallic ones don't have um, the black one so I'm using this one to add some black details to my design and make that area more graphic and bolder. So I'm going to speed up from this point on and just keep going back to all of the areas that I've identified as needing that black. So yeah, that's what I worked on today after I came back from work and I've really had a lot of fun creating this elephant. So this hashtag once again has pushed me to try things um, that I had not worked on before because I don't really work with um, animals too much or draw animals at all I think I mean very hardly I usually do them graphic or in my doodling but I never do anything detailed like I've done for this elephant but once again I'm not doing it realistically I'm adding doodles to it and I'm making him very graphic by the way I've um, split his body into little different sections and now I'm working with that cloth part and bringing some brightness to it and then some black bold lines to make it more graphic and make it pop up from that page a lot more and once I started with the black I, I just I really liked it so I kept on adding black to different areas of my design and turning that design into a bolder <laughs> more graphic look than I had envisioned at first. So in this part I'm trying to decide whether I want to use the jelly roll or if I want to use one of my pens. But I decided to just go in with the jelly roll because I had started in the smaller areas with it. So I just kept going with the same one. And worked on all of those 
little outlines that I had created, I just started filling them up. So I'll be uploading this part one and part two of the elephant for the first day of the hashtag. And we'll see how I end up finishing him off. So now I'm adding some gold to the swirls on that outside border. And then I work on some little doodling dots on the edge. And some gold to his little toenails. And now I'm working on the little scalloped design that I had added to his cheek. So now I'm going to outline the little design that I had created over his eye or on his eyelid. And then the line underneath. And then just define his eye area a little bit more. And I'm working on this as I go. So I have I've decided to um, start adding the lines little by little and let it tell me where he wants to go. So at this point I decided to add the outline to the little horn and to make it pop out more because it was a lot lighter. I decided to add some little diagonal lines and that way that horn will look different from the rest of what I'm planning to do on his body. So that's how it looks now. And then I go back with some gold to add some edge to that outer border. And I just keep on um, adding gold details as much as I can because I want to bring that gold color into it and now I'm deci I've decided to go into a blue and I'm gonna be outlining the outer edge of the headpiece and see if I like that and where I take it from there so once I've added those first two lines, I decided to go over both of the sides and then add some little dot patterns to that edge. Yeah, he's, he's looking brighter now. He's looking happier. <laughs> so I'm thinking I want to keep on the cool tones on his body so that the tapestry has all of the bright colors on it and then his body in keeping with the gray tones and contrast I'm gonna be using the cool colors but that's how the tapestry part is looking so far with what I've done with my doodling And now I'm going to go back over my edge with the black jelly roll. Actually, I decided to go back to the eye area and retouch some of the parts that I had worked on. And I decided not to work on the edge first. I wanted to start by adding some silver to that section behind his horn. And hmm, I'm liking it, but I'm not seeing it pop out too much. So that's when I finally do decide to go back in with the black. and work on some of the details 
But once I started doing that, I saw it was too thin and it was kind of skipping with the gouache. So I decided to use my Fudebo um, pen to make it a thicker outline. And then I just boldly decided to start splitting all of the different sections with a black outline. And totally went graphic with my elephant. Now those defined lines are more obvious and I'm kind of liking how it's looking. So yeah, once I started with the face, I had to go on with the rest of him. I can't leave just the face like that. So, so I go back and do the rest of his body with the black outlines. And that's what you see me doing throughout all of this sped up process. So yeah, tomorrow's um, Thursday, I'll be uploading these two part videos and I cannot wait for this weekend till I get to see all of the videos that everyone are, is sharing. They're probably uploaded now, but I haven't had the chance to look at any of the videos yet. So in this part, I started doodling by adding my little dot patterns to the sections, but with all the interruptions from the kids that wanted dinner and they wanted this and they wanted that, I forgot to play record in this part. So I'm sharing it now so you get to see what I worked on before my kids interrupted me. And I'm glad they did because I would have filmed the whole thing without pressing record. So I'm glad one of the kids came in and asked for something because when I wanted to save that part and so that I could continue later on, I found out that I had not pressed record. So I actually recorded this second section of it and you get to see how I added all my little doodle dots throughout the whole elephant. I did not want to add different patterns to all of his body because I thought it would be too busy against the tapestry. So I decided to use mainly dots on most of him, but when I went to work on the trunk on his face, I changed the pattern a little bit. To make that part interesting and to have it with a closer look to the look I had on his horn that I had started with. So now I'm trying to decide whether I want to add a pattern to his headpiece or not. <laughs> and I start out by adding just that little curvy line and some dots. And once I did that, I was like, okay, he needs to be decorated on the head too. So I kept on going with some doodling in that part, but simple. I didn't know whether to add the flowers to that top part or not, but I decided to keep it simple. So now I'm going back into the little sections and playing with my cool tones. In the face, I had to repeat the silver because I already had one little section with silver. So I'm moving that silver color to some of the other areas especially the edge of his ear so it looks lighter and to give it more contrast against the tapestry in the back and then I just keep on going with the same other colors that I had used on the back of him so I'm using the blue and I'm using a purple and I'm using a green and then in some of the areas I add black and um, some of the silver. And I'm actually really happy about how he's turning out. 
I had totally envisioned something completely, completely different from what I've been working on as I keep working on him. But I'm really liking how he looks. He's completely different from what I thought he would be. <laughs> but he's a happy elephant. So that's how he looks up to now. And now I'm going to go back and work on some more details. Adding some silver and some gold. To all these different little areas. And I'm sorry, I'm more, um, I sped up this to like 800 times the speed because it's so detailed and it takes, I mean, it's like meditation. It takes long and it's like a peaceful process for me, but it would have been way too long to share it on a video with all of you. So in order to be able to share the whole process with you, I had to speed up that um, video to 800 times the speed. <laughs> So I would keep the video shorter than it would have been the other way around or the other way. So yeah, I keep playing with all this, the same colors as I go down the leg and I finish him off. And that's how he looks. That's how he looks. So I'll add some little tiny finished finishing touches to him and then I'll go in and I'll cut him because I'm thinking of using him on top of another piece so that will probably be the next video that I share with you let's see where he goes I have to find him a home I have to find a piece a background for him so I have to think about what I want to do with that so we'll see. I hope you come back. And this is him all fussy cut and looking happy and ready for a home. So I hope you come back and watch the rest of the videos that I'll have finishing him off, finishing this lucky elephant piece. Hope you're enjoying the hashtag, getting to know a lot of new artists and crafters and friends and, and finding a lot of inspiration. So thank you so much for visiting. Leave some comments down below because I would love to find some comments. And thanks for watching, everyone. Besitos. Bye-bye.